Hi, my golden friend. Today, Vincent Kmar and mm, uh, Levon Aurelian played against each other again, and this time with Queen's Gambit decline. And Vincent blundered badly. I want to take you to that point, as well as one brilliant move by Levon. And uh, an interesting part about this game was the uh, post game interview where interviewer asked Levon if uh, you are a romantic man or not and learn it like your games and Levon said yes I am quite romantic because I am crying when I watch movies Levon with this win got the first spot in the live rating list among United States players so he is number one of US right now in live rating list and we can say Cinderella man is the number one of US okay and this is a queen gambit decline as you can see i don't know where the name comes from because it's not a gambit either people don't accept it but uh, whenever they take it the white return uh, immediately recaptures either with check or directly with bishop anyways and uh, for example if you compare it with catalan in catalan you also give up the c pawn but you don't recapture it easily as like <laughs> in this case in queen's gambit Anyways, let's go forward. The game is quite wild and the youngest sir is looking for revenge after losing last time in uh, last time Levon torched uh, Vincent because Vincent was in Zugzwang for a very very long time in the game and it was very bad torch for young sir. So he is playing quite angry today against Levon. And uh, you can see what didn't castle but it doesn't care at all to castle and just attacks wants to destroy Levon and here is a brilliant move of Levon playing g5 and the point is that uh, okay uh, Vincent just simply played b4 the point is that you cannot capture this pawn or you can capture but then goes back and then you should uh, defend your bishop again because if you don't move uh, your bishop is pinned so next move um, b5 is winning a bishop so if for example you move the king away then you lose a uh, your fork your knight is forked so therefore uh, vincent didn't take that and then just attack the queen and then the game continues as wild as possible they shuffle a little bit i want to take you to the point that vincent finally blundered uh, i mean under no pressure and you will see uh, you will see uh, what's the position and you will tell me why that blunder happened okay here vincent is strengthens the defense of his pawn structure and his very healthy pawn structure is very good uh, engine says is uh, black is ascending a little bit better but it is because the king of white is exposed but other than that white is doing perfectly fine there is nothing bad in this position so the one simply attacks the e pawn and i don't know what else he wants to do and vincent simply gives up the e pawn piece of pawn change this is a big big blunder i mean simply takes the pawn and then next one the whole things fall apart like a domino and yeah and now youngster has nothing to play against Levon just plays out of a spite a little bit and then at this position finally he resigns because there's nothing to play here uh, white uh, black is not just up a whole piece but also white king is exposed black has a pass pawn and everything is for black yeah this was a game that took Levon to the next stage of the grand prix tournament and we will see what happens in future as well as took him in the first place of life rating list at united states i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and if you like a lot subscribe see you next time bye